Reflecting on her illustrious career, the legendary actress Angie Dickinson recently revealed startling details about the true love of her life. Known for her captivating performances in classics like Rio Bravo and Dress to Kill, Dickinson has always kept her personal life private. However, she finally opened up about the one individual who holds the key to her heart. Prepare to be surprised as we delve into the unexpected revelation of this classic Hollywood starlet. Disclosing her innermost feelings during a series of intimate interviews, Dickinson unveiled the identity of the person who has held her heart captive for years. This breathtaking admission will surely touch the hearts of many fans who have cherished her work throughout the years. As the tale unfolds, brace yourself for an astonishing account of love and devotion. Angie Dickinson, born Angeline Brown in 1931, grew up in Calm, North Dakota as part of a German Catholic family. She was the second of four sisters and excelled academically throughout her childhood. At just 15 years old, she won a significant essay contest, showing early promise as a potential writer. However, life had other plans for her. Following a twist of fate, Dickinson found herself drawn towards acting after winning a local beauty pageant in 1953. This victory served as a stepping stone, propelling her into the glamorous world of Hollywood. Her natural talent and striking beauty quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to numerous opportunities in both television and film. Over time, Dickinson established herself as a respected actress, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. After working as a secretary, Angie Dickinson got her big break in Hollywood with a minor role in a Warner Brothers film in 1954. In the years that followed, she made numerous television appearances before landing a significant part in the 1956 western gun The Man Down. This classic marked a turning point in her career, leading to more substantial roles in both film and television. Dickinson's talent was recognized by the industry when she won the prestigious Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year for her outstanding performance in Howard Hawke's iconic movie, Rio Bravo alongside John Wayne and Dean Martin in 1959. Since then, she has become synonymous with strong female leads who command attention and respect. Throughout her illustrious career spanning over six decades, Angie Dickinson has continued to captivate audiences worldwide through memorable performances in films like Ocean's Eleven, Point Blank and Police Woman, which earned her another Emmy nomination. Despite retiring from acting in recent years, her impact continues to resonate throughout the entertainment industry today. In the 1960s and 1970s, Angie Dickinson etched her name in Hollywood's Hall of Fame through a string of successful films and a groundbreaking television series. Among her early notable roles was in Ocean's Eleven, where she shared screen time with iconic actors like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. This classic heist movie remains popular today, demonstrating the lasting appeal of both the story and its talented cast. The actress continued making waves in the industry throughout the decade, delivering a powerful performance in John Borman's thriller Point Blank alongside Lee Marvin. Critics took note of her ability to hold her own against veteran leading men, further solidifying her status as a force to be reckoned with in Tinseltown. However, it wasn't just big screen appearances that brought Dickinson widespread recognition during these years. She also made history on the small screen when she became the first female lead in a police drama, gracing television screens as Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson in Police Woman. Her portrayal earned her numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and three Emmy nominations. Through this pioneering role, the actress paved the way for future generations of women in law enforcement focused television shows. To this day, fans continue to appreciate Dickinson's contributions to cinema and television, cherishing the memorable characters she brought to life throughout her career. Whether stealing scenes in classics like Ocean's Eleven or pushing boundaries in Police Woman, the actress left an indelible mark on both mediums, resonating deeply with audiences even decades after her initial rise to stardom. Angie Dickinson's personal life has been marked by several significant relationships. In 1952, she tied the knot with football player Jean Dickinson, but the marriage ended in divorce eight years later. Following her first divorce, the actress became involved in a highly publicized romance with none other than Frank Sinatra. Later, in 1965, Angie exchanged wedding vows with composer Burt Bacharach. However, personal struggles, including their daughter's health issues, led to their divorce in 1981. Despite these challenges, the actress remained committed to her career and continued to make memorable appearances in both films and television shows. Her romantic connections further solidified her status as a Hollywood icon, 
making her story all the more captivating for fans around the globe. Now in her ninth decade, Angie Dickinson resides in Los Angeles. Over the course of her career, she has made a significant impact in both television and film. In recognition of her achievements, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame. These accolades serve as a testament to her status as a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, the actress has captivated audiences with her powerful performances. She first gained attention for her role as Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson in the popular TV series Police Woman, which premiered in 1974. Her portrayal of a tough yet feminine detective challenged gender norms and paved the way for future female leads in action-oriented roles. Dickinson's work extends beyond television, including numerous appearances in films throughout the decades. Some notable credits include Rio Bravo, where she starred alongside John Wayne, and Dressed to Kill, directed by Brian De Palma. Despite the passing years, her legacy continues to resonate with fans young and old. The actress remains humble about her contributions to the entertainment industry. When asked about her success, she often attributes it to luck and hard work rather than any particular talent. However, those who have worked with her speak highly of her dedication and professionalism. As time goes on, Angie Dickinson's influence will undoubtedly continue to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers alike. Through her groundbreaking roles and commitment to excellence, she has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of American cinema. And while she may downplay her significance, there is no denying the fact that she has etched out a place as a true icon in the annals of film and television history. In a heartfelt interview, actress Angie Dickinson opened up about her relationship with none other than the legendary Frank Sinatra. The two first crossed paths while working together on the set of Ocean's Eleven. As Dickinson reflects on their time together, she fondly remembers Sinatra as the love of her life. Their bond ran deep, transcending the typical boundaries of a Hollywood romance. Though marriage was certainly considered, even going so far as to contemplate tying the knot in 1964, fate had different plans for them. Despite their unmarried status, the depth of emotion between them remained undeniably strong. Delving into the complexities of Sinatra's character, Dickinson paints a picture of a man who wore many hats. His enigmatic charm captivated audiences around the globe, leaving an indelible mark on music, film, and popular culture. Yet behind the spotlight, he grappled with personal demons, revealing a more vulnerable side to those closest to him. Throughout their tumultuous journey, the actress stood by his side, navigating both the highs and lows that define their relationship. To this day, she cherishes the memories they shared, reflecting on a love story that resonates through the annals of Hollywood history. Reflecting on her time in the industry, actress Angie Dickinson shares some fond memories of working with her co-stars Dean Martin and John Wayne in the classic western Rio Bravo. Dean Martin, known for playing the lovable yet tipsy role in the movie, was nothing like his character off-screen. In reality, he was a kind and considerate person who would often share stories and jokes with the cast and crew during breaks. Despite his boozy persona depicted in the film, Martin was always respectful and professional, leaving a lasting impression on those around him. As for John Wayne, Dickinson recalls being initially intimidated by the legendary actor due to his imposing presence and larger-than-life personality. However, she soon discovered that beneath his tough exterior lay a caring individual who offered guidance and support throughout their time together on set. His influence extended beyond just acting, inspiring young talents like Dickinson and shaping their careers in meaningful ways. Overall, these experiences have left a profound impact on the actress, providing valuable lessons and cherished moments that continue to resonate even today. Angie Dickinson first caught the eye of Frank Sinatra during the shooting of a television drama in the 1950s. Even amidst a bustling set, the actress stood out with her striking beauty and undeniable talent. But it wasn't until decades later when she opened up about their encounter in an interview, she recalled how the legendary singer had singled her out, leaving a lasting impression on the young ingenue. Their paths would cross again years down the line, but by then, both had moved on to different relationships. However, the spark between them remained palpable. Their connection went beyond mere attraction. They shared a mutual respect for each other's craft and work ethic. Dickinson was not just another pretty face in Hollywood. Her career spanned over six decades, marked by memorable roles in films like Rio Bravo and TV shows such as Police Woman. Yet, despite achieving success in her own right, she found herself frequently associated with Sinatra due to their unforgettable chemistry. 
It's easy to see why Sinatra was drawn to Dickinson. Besides being stunningly beautiful, she possessed an independent spirit and strength of character that matched his own. Despite the allure of fame and fortune, she never allowed herself to be overshadowed by the men in her life, including Sinatra. Interestingly, even Sinatra's second wife, Iva Gardner, couldn't help but acknowledge his unique appeal. Known for her fiery temperament and candidness, Gardner once remarked on Sinatra's distinct physical attributes and irresistible charm. This observation underscores the profound effect Sinatra had on those around him, particularly the women who fell under his spell. Nevertheless, while the story of Sinatra and Dickinson remains a captivating chapter in Hollywood lore, it also serves as a testament to the actress's enduring legacy. Beyond the glitz and glamour, she proved herself to be more than merely Sinatra's lady. Instead, she carved out her own niche, becoming a beloved figure in American cinema. In the memoir Sinatra and Me in the Wee Small Hours, author Tony Apodisano provides unique insights into Frank Sinatra's personal life. Among the various revelations, one relationship that stands out is Sinatra's affair with renowned actress Angie Dickinson. Their intense connection was palpable, even amidst Sinatra's numerous romantic entanglements. Despite the singer's playboy reputation, he shared a deep bond with the actress, which lasted for several years. Their chemistry was undeniable, both on and off screen, making them one of Hollywood's most captivating couples during the golden age of cinema. Dickinson first met Sinatra while working together on the set of Ocean's Eleven. Over time, they developed a close friendship that eventually blossomed into a passionate romance. Even after their romantic relationship ended, they remained lifelong friends, often staying in touch until Sinatra's passing. Throughout the book, Apodisano sheds light on how this love story unfolded against the backdrop of Sinatra's tumultuous career and alleged involvements in CIA operations. These disclosures offer readers an intimate look at the man behind the iconic image, revealing glimpses of vulnerability seldom seen before. It becomes clear that despite the many women who came and went throughout his life, it was Angie Dickinson who truly captured Sinatra's heart. This fascinating tale adds depth to our understanding of two legendary figures whose lives continue to resonate today. In the late 1950s, the actress Angie Dickinson made her mark in Hollywood with a series of memorable performances. Among them was her role in Rio Bravo alongside screen legend John Wayne. This classic Western film showcases the actress's ability to hold her own against seasoned actors while bringing depth and nuance to her character. Over the years, she continued to grace both the big and small screens, leaving an indelible impression on audiences and critics alike. One project particularly close to Dickinson's heart was her work with Frank Sinatra. Their collaboration extended beyond their professional lives, blossoming into a deep friendship. Anecdotes and photographs detailing their bond can be found in the actress's memoir, providing readers with unique insights into the life of one of America's most beloved entertainers. This captivating book delves into the complexities of Sinatra's personality and offers glimpses into previously unexplored aspects of his celebrated career. From tales of backstage antics to intimate conversations between friends, each page resonates with authenticity and warmth. Moreover, the author shares personal stories that shed light on how the two stars supported each other through triumphs and tribulations. As we turn the pages of this engaging narrative, we step into a world inhabited by some of the greatest talents in entertainment history. Through vivid descriptions and first-hand accounts, the reader gains a deeper appreciation for the dedication, passion, and camaraderie shared by these legendary figures. Whether you're a fan of classic films, fascinated by the golden age of Hollywood, or simply looking for an inspiring read, the actress's memoir will undoubtedly prove to be a compelling choice. Its rich tapestry of memories, images, and emotions serves as a testament to the power of human connection and the enduring allure of show business legends like Frank Sinatra and Angie Dickinson. So why wait? Dive into this fascinating account today and discover another side of these iconic stars. Moreover, Angie Dickinson stands as a shining star in Hollywood's golden age. With her beauty and talent, she captured hearts in films and television shows alike. From her breakout role in Rio Bravo, alongside John Wayne to her captivating performances in popular series like Police Woman, Angie became a household name. Her ability to portray strong, independent women marked a shift in the industry, inspiring countless others. Beyond acting, she also received several awards, including Golden Globe nominations and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Angie's journey from small-town girl to leading lady showcases her determination and skill. 
Angie Dickinson was born in North Dakota in 1931 to a Polish father and a German mother. Her dad served as the local sheriff, shaping her early years with stories of law and order. The family moved to California when Angie was 11, where she attended Glendale High School and was crowned homecoming queen. Dickinson's first taste of acting came in a school play where she discovered her passion for the craft. She enrolled in Immaculate Heart College, majoring in law, but her acting interest persisted. A beauty pageant win, the Miss America of 1954 title, opened doors for her in the show business. Angie's early career included bit parts in various TV shows and films. She caught her big break in the early 60s with the series Policewoman, becoming one of the first female leads in a police drama. Dickinson's career was influenced by notable figures such as John Wayne, with whom she starred in several films. He encouraged and supported her, leading to her memorable roles in Rio Bravo and The Sons of Katie Elder. Her path also crossed with filmmaker Howard Hawks, who cast her in Rio Bravo alongside Wayne. Hawks played a significant role in developing her acting skills, focusing on her subtle facial expressions and body language. In her personal life, Angie has been open about her admiration for Marilyn Monroe, citing the icon as an early influence and inspiration. Despite their different acting styles, Monroe's allure and vulnerability left a lasting impression on the young actress. Throughout her illustrious career, Angie Dickinson has remained grateful for the early influences, mentors, and experiences that shaped her path in Hollywood. Initially, Angie Dickinson's spark for acting ignited during her high school days. One memorable day, she joined her school's drama club and took the stage for the first time. The thrill of performing and the applause from her peers filled her with joy. Later, while attending college, she faced a turning point. She participated in a local theater production. The experience was both challenging and exhilarating, and it confirmed her desire to act. From that moment on, she knew she wanted to pursue a career in entertainment. As she began to audition for roles in Hollywood, her determination and passion only grew stronger. Each role, whether big or small, fueled her love for the craft. She often recalled the laughter and excitement backstage, which further ignited her drive to succeed. Through the highs and lows, her commitment to storytelling and connecting with audiences shaped her journey. Transitioned despite the challenges, Angie Dickinson persevered and found success in her career. In the early years of her career, Angie Dickinson faced numerous obstacles. She struggled with financial difficulties and faced skepticism from the industry. However, she remained resilient and creatively overcame these hurdles. Angie Dickinson's breakthrough moments began in earnest with her role in Richard Diamond, private detective during the late 1950s. Aside from being one of the first female leads in a police drama on television, she made a striking impression when she appeared on screen, but not in the usual sense. Viewers heard her voice before they saw her face, which added an air of mystery that intrigued audiences. This innovative introduction set the stage for her successful acting career. A few years later, Angie starred alongside John Wayne in The Sons of Katie Elder. Her performance showcased both her versatility and depth as an actress, earning praise from critics and establishing her reputation in Hollywood. According to movie critic Leonard Maltin, Angie held her own against screen legends like John Wayne, proving she belonged among them. However, it wasn't until her iconic portrayal of Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson in the popular 70s TV series Police Woman that Angie truly cemented her status as a cultural phenomenon. Breaking barriers once again, she became the first woman to lead a primetime cop show paving the way for future generations of female actors in action roles. Co-star Earl Holloman shared his thoughts about working with Angie. She brought strength and sensitivity to the character of Pepper Anderson, inspiring many young women along the way. Throughout her illustrious career, spanning over six decades, Angie has continued to captivate audiences worldwide. From memorable film performances to groundbreaking television roles, each milestone represents a vital contribution to the ever-evolving tapestry of entertainment. Angie Dickinson's artistic vision is deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a large family during the Great Depression gave her a strong sense of resilience and determination. These qualities would later become defining characteristics of many of the tough yet vulnerable women she portrayed on screen. Dickinson approaches each role with meticulous preparation and attention to detail. She once said, I like to know my lines perfectly so I can forget them. This dedication to craft allows her to fully immerse herself in her performances and create authentic, nuanced portrayals. Her acting style is often marked by subtlety and restraint, 
rather than relying on grand gestures or over-the-top emoting, Dickinson prefers to communicate her character's emotions through small facial expressions and body language. This understated approach gives her performances a naturalism that resonates with audiences. One notable example of Dickinson's unique style is her performance in the film Policewoman, where she played Sergeant Susan Simpson. Despite the show's action-packed premise, Dickinson brought depth and complexity to her character, avoiding stereotypes and cliches. Her groundbreaking portrayal paved the way for future female leads in television and film. Throughout her career, Dickinson has also used her platform to advocate for social issues close to her heart. In particular, she has been a longtime supporter of women's rights and gender equality. By incorporating these values into her work, Dickinson has left a lasting impact on both the entertainment industry and broader society. Angie Dickinson's impact on the film industry is undeniable. She rose to fame during Hollywood's golden age and became a symbol of strength and beauty for women in cinema. Known for her work in films like Rio Bravo and Policewoman, she paved the way for complex female characters. Dickinson broke barriers by portraying strong-willed and intelligent women who could hold their own against leading men. Her character in Policewoman, Sergeant Suzanne Anderson, was one of the first prominent female detectives on television, inspiring future generations of actresses and writers to create more dynamic roles for women. Industry expert Laura Adams states, Angie Dickinson brought a new kind of femininity to action roles, smart, capable, and unafraid to take charge. This shift in representation allowed for greater diversity both on screen and behind the scenes. Moreover, Dickinson has been praised for her influence on fashion trends off-screen. With her timeless style, she often graced magazine covers and red carpets, becoming a style icon for many women. Her collaborative efforts also led to significant advancements. For instance, she worked closely with influential director John Wayne, which helped solidify her status as a respected artist in the industry. Additionally, her professional relationship with renowned composer Henry Mancini resulted in memorable theme music for Policewoman, further elevating the series' success. Overall, Angie Dickinson leaves behind a lasting legacy in Hollywood, having contributed significantly to shifting perceptions about women's capabilities and influencing various aspects of storytelling through her groundbreaking performances and partnerships. Angie Dickinson is not just a name in Hollywood, she's a person with a rich life outside the spotlight. Her personal values shine through in her work, making her roles feel real and relatable. For instance, she's known for her strong, independent characters that resonate with many. And beyond acting, Angie is passionate about philanthropy. She's involved with organizations that help children and animals, showing she cares deeply about the welfare of others. Her dedication to these causes is a reflection of her kind-hearted nature. Let's dive into the career of actress Angie Dickinson. With over six decades in Hollywood, she has made her mark in the industry. Her breakout role came in 1959 when she starred in Riverboat. This led to many opportunities, including her iconic performance as Sergeant Susan Pepper Anderson in the TV series Policewoman, which earned her a Golden Globe Award. Dickinson's impact extends beyond her own work. She paved the way for women in leading roles, showing that they could handle action and drama just as well as men. Even today, her performances continue to inspire up and coming actors and actresses. When it comes to giving advice for those hoping to follow in her footsteps, Dickinson emphasizes the importance of perseverance and hard work. As she once said, you have to believe in yourself and put in the effort to succeed. She also encourages young professionals to stay true to themselves and not let anyone else define who they are or what they can achieve. As for the future of acting, Dickinson sees endless possibilities with the evolution of technology. From streaming services to virtual reality experiences, there are more ways than ever before to tell stories and connect with audiences. At the same time, she hopes that the core elements of storytelling and character development will always remain central to the craft. So whether you're just starting out or looking to make your next big move, take a page from Angie Dickinson's playbook, stay focused, stay authentic, and never give up on your dreams. Angie Dickinson's journey in the entertainment industry spans over six decades, filled with passionate performances and innovative roles. Born September 30, 1931, she started her career in the early 50s, gracing the screens with her undeniable talent. Her breakthrough role in Rio Bravo showcased both her acting skills and striking screen presence. Throughout her career, Dickinson chose diverse and challenging roles, defying stereotypes and pushing boundaries, 
she became one of the rare leading ladies who successfully transitioned between film, television, and stage productions. In the hit series Police Woman, she made a significant mark, becoming a symbol of women's empowerment during a time when strong female leads were scarce. Dickinson's work has left an indelible impression on the entertainment landscape. Even now, her legacy resonates with aspiring actors and actresses who admire her determination and versatility. Through highs and lows, she remained committed to her craft and continuously reinvented herself. Angie Dickinson's story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and persistence. With each new project, she brought unique ideas and fresh energy, forever changing the way we view Hollywood heroines. So, let us celebrate her extraordinary contributions and continue to appreciate the immense value of artistic vision and relentless dedication. As we take time to appreciate the career of Angie Dickinson, it's hard not to be amazed by her range and longevity in Hollywood. From her early days on television to her iconic role in Policewoman, she has captivated audiences for decades. Her portrayals of strong and complex women have left an indelible mark on the industry. Dickinson was born on September 30, 1931, in North Dakota before moving to California as a teenager. She began her career in the late 1950s, appearing in numerous TV shows and films. But it was her groundbreaking role as Sergeant Suzanne Anderson in Police Woman that truly catapulted her to stardom. This was one of the first leading roles for a woman in a police drama, and Dickinson embraced the challenge with grace and grit. Throughout her career, she worked alongside some of the biggest names in show business, including John Wayne, Frank Sinatra, and Dean Martin. Yet despite these high-profile collaborations, she never lost sight of who she was or where she came from. A true testament to her character both on and off screen. As we look back on Angie Dickinson's body of work, we can't help but feel inspired by her determination, talent, and trailblazing spirit. So please, share your thoughts on her contributions to entertainment below. Let's celebrate this remarkable actress together. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content highlighting the talented individuals who shape our favorite movies and